Hi friends, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today in this video, we are going to evaluate another interesting integral. Integral from 0 to infinity natural log of x over 1 plus x square. Uh, here x square dx with respect to x. Okay, uh, how to begin? Well, uh, first, uh, I don't like uh, this x square. So, I am going to take a substitution. Uh, we can take x square is equal to t then differentiate so 2 times x dx is equal to dt now uh, we can substitute here our integral i am going to take this is equal i and we know i is equal to now bound is also 0 to infinity now natural log of x uh, x we know t to the one half so t to the one half over here 1 plus x square we know t so 1 plus t uh, here again square and dx dx we know dt over 2 times x x we know t to the 1 half so here t to the 1 half now we can simplify so we can write integral from 0 to infinity here t to the one half according to property of natural log we can write this one half in front of uh, natural log so we can take one half outside to the integral sign and here also two so one over four then here we have natural log of t over one plus t square uh, times uh, here dt are uh, here t to the one half we can write t to the one half in the numerator t to the minus one half okay then uh, i am going to define a integral function so if we take f of n is equal to integral from zero to infinity x to the n over one plus uh, x square dx okay now uh, if we uh, differentiate with respect to n we can write f dash of n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity here x to the n derivative of x to the n with respect to n we know x to the n times natural log of x over 1 plus x square d x okay then uh, if we plug in minus one half uh, instead of n uh, minus one half we know uh, here zero to infinity x to the minus one half times natural log of x over one plus x square d x okay then uh, here a look at uh, this integral and this integral uh, we know uh, same integral so we can write now the this is equal to um, here 4 so 4 times i okay now uh, to evaluate i uh, we can evaluate f dash of minus one half so how to evaluate f dash of minus one half okay then uh, i am going to take uh, our function our integral f of n so we know i am going to take this integral f of n is equal to uh, 0 to infinity here x to the n now i am going to write uh, x to the n plus 1 minus 1 because 1 minus 1 get cancelled and we will have x to the n also uh, in the denominator here 1 plus x raised to the uh, n plus 1 n plus 1 plus 1 minus n now if we simplify here minus n n get cancelled and we will have 1 plus x square and here dx now this is familiar with us because uh, we know the definition of beta function uh, beta of beta of xy is equal to 
integral from 0 to infinity t to the x minus 1 over 1 plus t to the x plus y t t so now we can apply uh, this definition of beta function so we can write here f of n is equal to now beta of here uh, instead of x n plus 1 n plus 1 instead of 1 oh, sorry y we have 1 minus n okay now f of n is equal to beta of n plus 1 1 minus n then we know the relation between gamma function and beta function beta of m n is equal to gamma of m gamma of n over gamma of m plus n so we can write now this is equal to f of n is equal to gamma of n plus 1 times gamma of 1 minus n uh, over sum of n plus n we know n get cancelled and gamma of 2 we know 1 okay then uh, f of n is equal to gamma of n plus 1 times gamma of n minus 1 now i'm going to differentiate with respect to n so we can write f dash of n because uh, our goal is to take f dash of minus 1 half so f dash of n is equal to uh, now product rule so i'm going to rewrite gamma of 1 minus n then derivative of uh, first function gamma dash of uh, n plus 1 then uh, plus uh, now derivative of 1 minus n uh, we will have minus sign so here minus sign gamma of n plus 1 times gamma dash of 1 minus n okay then um, here gamma dash derivative of gamma function so we know uh, the derivative of gamma function uh, but uh, before it uh, we should take f dash of minus one half so now we can take f dash of minus one half so replace minus one half uh, instead of n so here we have uh, gamma of one minus minus one half gamma of 3 over 2 here gamma dash of 1 half minus gamma of again 1 half times gamma dash of 3 over 2 okay then we know in this relation uh, the derivative of natural log of gamma of x is equal to gamma dash of x over gamma of x and we know this is equal to di gamma of x okay then uh, we can write f dash of minus one half is equal to here gamma of three over two now instead of gamma dash of one half we can write gamma of one half di gamma of one half so we can write gamma of one half times uh, di gamma of one half uh, then here gamma of one half uh, sorry gamma of one half times gamma of three over two times di gamma of three over two okay then uh, we know gamma of one half is equal to square root of pi gamma of one half we know square root of pi and gamma of 3 over 2 is equal to square root of pi over 2 so we can write now this is equal to product of uh, square root of pi times square root of pi over 2 pi over 2 and here same term so we can take pi over 2 as a common factor and here we have di gamma of 1 half minus di gamma of 3 over 2 okay then i am going to take minus sign as a common factor uh, so here di gamma of 3 over 2 minus di gamma of 1 half 
okay then uh, we know uh, this property uh, of uh, gamma function uh, di gamma sorry uh, about di gamma function di gamma of c plus 1 is equal to di gamma of c uh, plus 1 over c okay then uh, we will have sorry we have get di gamma of 3 over 2 minus di gamma of 1 half so we can write uh, here uh, di gamma of uh, di gamma of c plus 1 minus di gamma of c is equal to 1 over c so here now we can write uh, 3 over 2 uh, like uh, 1 plus 1 half here also 1 half so we can write this is equal to minus 5 over 2 times 1 over uh, 1 half so here 2 and this 2 get cancelled and we have minus pi but uh, we have the relation between f dash of minus one half and i uh, we know here mm, this is the relation so we can isolate i so i is equal to i is equal to uh, one over four times f dash of minus one half now here 1 over 4 times f dash of uh, minus 1 half we know minus pi so the answer is minus pi over 4 okay this is the answer if you like uh, this type of videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching